So you've got people coming over and you want to do tapas. You want to have a bit of a tapas spread. Or maybe it's just the two of you and you want to have a tapas dinner. That's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you five super simple, super delicious and really authentic tapas. And tops, they take about 30 minutes to prepare in total. And I'm going to be sipping cider at the same time. So salute and benga. Let's go. Okay guys, we're gonna make the five tapas kind of in order. They're really easy, but we're gonna kick off with the cold ones first. The first one is the Gilda. Now this is something, it's a pincho that you eat in San Sebastian, and it's such a great way to kind of open your appetite. If you serve these to people when they're having their first sip of wine or whatever it is at the beginning of a party, their appetites will be open, their minds will be blown, their taste buds will just go nuts. So in a Gilda, you've got three things, and this is a traditional Gilda. There's a lot of Gildas. Gilda is a hard word. Gilda is a hard word to say. <laughs> so you're gonna be having anchovies. Good anchovies are amazing. These are not the crappy ones you put on your pizza. Also olives, they can have a little bit of an anchovy inside. And then these guys, beautiful pickled peppers. Now you can just use general guindillas or pickled peppers that come in a jar, or you can use piparras, which are the real Basque ones. You also need toothpicks. Toothpicks are key. All right, the key with a Gilda is it has a certain order of how the different ingredients go onto the toothpick. To be honest, I always get a little bit lost and confused and have to Google a picture of it to I remember. I think you had it very clear in your mind. No, baby. No, Behind the scenes, I'm Googling pictures of the dishes I'm making. Uh -huh. And so here's how it goes. Right, first of all, you wanna grab Pablo's knife. Pablo's knife. Pablo's knife. All right, and you wanna just chop your Gindia. Okay, Beautiful. so you're gonna chop your gindia in half, that's important. And then here's how it goes. It's a palindrome. This is the pincho palindrome because each gilda has olive, pepper, anchovy, pepper, olive. Olé, palindrome. palindrome. And why is it called gilda, Yoli? Do you know? Uh, it's called gilda after uh, Catherine Hepburn. Mm, Rita Hayworth. Huh? Rita Hayworth Almost. in. Hilda, the movie. Hey, Hilda, the movie, exactly. So, we're gonna get the anchovies out. Beautiful quality anchovies oh, again. Yum. Not your grandma's anchovies. No, no. And then you just fold your anchovy and you drop it onto here. And then you put your other half of the pickled pepper and then you put your olive. Yeah. So you can see that there. It's beautiful. Olive, pepper, anchovy, pepper, olive. Say that 15 times. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get the presentation. I'm all about presentation these days, guys. So, so I just like to kind of dress it with a little garlic. Oh, look at that. There we go. And the key there, just before you serve, you get your good olive oil, the good stuff, and you just sprinkle a little bit over. Very good. Just adds a little bit of flavor. I think I deserve a sip. Tapa number one done, so down the hatch. Okay, tapa number two, patatas alioli. I'm gonna move our ingredients away that we've been using. I'll put them over there for the gildas. And gildas. gildas. I feel like the joker when I try and say that. Gildas. All right. What joke? What joke, yeah. Who's funny? Potatoes. Previously, we've boiled them for about 15 minutes until they're edible, they're boiled. With the skin on, we boiled them, and then we dropped them into cold water, and then we peeled them. So that's key, you're prepped there. And then we need to make ali oli. Now, usually Yoli makes this, I'm getting all my Yoli ali oli, but now I'm gonna make it because Yoli has showed me. I screwed it up last night, but today I'm gonna get it right. Yes. So, how do you make an ali oli? You need an egg. Now, to make a proper alioli, the egg must have a feather on it. You need a clove of garlic, uh -huh. and you need olive oil. So, we've got that. Salt, and a little bit of lemon. All right, so, it's really, really easy. Um, I'm not gonna crush that there, because I did that before, and it almost broke the thing, so. Uh, yeah. Little Pretty bit good. of Gerard. Uh -huh. So you're gonna take your mixer, mixing device, and you're gonna drop in a garlic. Mm. A clove of garlic cut into two, all right, okay. key. Then you are going to put in a little bit of lemon juice, not too much. No. You're gonna break an egg into it, and then you're gonna put in about 100 mils of olive oil. All right. Great. You can always add more later. Uh-huh. Little nitnoy of salt. Ali. The key here is that the alioli has to emulsify. Now, what does emulsify mean? I have no idea. But 
It's a real pain when it doesn't happen. That's what happened last night. It didn't emulsify. So here's what emulsification means. The breakdown of fat globules in the du duodendum into tiny droplets, which provides a larger surface area on which the enzyme pancreatic leapses can act to digest the fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Emulsification is assisted by the action of the bile salts. Um, that might be the wrong kind of uh, emulsification. Much fairer. <laughs> yeah, that might be emulsification like in the body or something like that. So, so that's what we're hoping happens here. <laughs> so, you know within the first sort of 30 seconds or less if it's emulsified because you're going to blend this. I'm going to stick the stick in there. I'm going to blend it and not move the blender on my life, right? Yeah. I'm stick not going to move the bottom. it. Okay. And you're going to stick it right in the bottom. And then you start it. Yeah. And then you start it. So I'm going to put it down there. Anyways. There it is. Is that what's going on? Uh, okay. It, what happened? No, it didn't emulsify. So it didn't emulsify. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, so that was a disaster. It didn't emulsify. <laughs> Why did that did not emulsify? The duodendum did not uh, interact with the thing. Okay, take two of how to make alioli. <laughs> the tension is killing me. It happened. We have tried three times and it has finally emulsified. If it does not emulsify the first time, keep trying. Okay, so you've made your alioli, finally, and you have your potatoes that you've peeled. They're sitting over there. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut your potatoes into quite big chunks. Quarters. Quarters, yeah. yeah. And now you wanna mix a little bit of your alioli with parsley because you're gonna effectively coat your potatoes in that alioli and the parsley. So take your parsley, and then I'm gonna take my alioli that perfectly emulsified, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna tip it into here. Pour it in, and then just kind of mix it up. They're looking yum. Perfectly presented. Proud? Very proud. Tupper number two, down. Okay, so those were the two cold tapas. Now we can do three hot tapas, and they kind of all cook at the same time, but some take a little longer than others. We're gonna do chorizo a la sidra, we're gonna do almonds that are just slightly fried and also have paprika on them. And we're also gonna do pimientos de padron. Unos pican, otros no. All right, some are spicy, some aren't. So we're gonna kick off with the pimientos de padron. While that's heating up, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil that's hot enough already. The pimientos de padron, you wanna do on a hot heat. This is when the, the energy starts to happen. Where's my chorizo? All right, <laughs> I'm gonna cut this chorizo cool. into slices. Mm. All right. So, I'm going to drop these in. I'm not going to do all of them because it's for me and Yoli's lunch. Oh. And they're going to keep kind of frying and I want the skin to blister. Okay, I'm going to put some oil in here. This is where I get nervous, guys, because it all starts to happen. Look at that. Hey. So you're going to drum, dump your chorizo in. This chorizo won't take long to brown. So it's already starting to brown the chorizo. So I'm going to turn that okay. because we actually want to cook it in the cider. A couple of bay leaves and a little bit of cider. Yeah. It's gonna cook there for not long. You just want it to cook through, so. What do you think, Yoli? Should we pull that quits? I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right. Those beautiful peppers there. You wanna use salt flakes, ideally, on the pimentos de padrones. Perfect. Alright. Hey. Hey. Oh, coming at ya! <laughs> Alright. Chorizo going in the bowl. I'm splashing it around a yeah, little bit. Very good. Nah, that's pretty. The colour there. That one over there. Now, I'm going to sprinkle a little of that parsley on it. Oh, on look at that colour. Green colour. Beautiful. Now, with these guys, I'm going to put the slightest amount of olive oil in. So, we've got our almonds here. Beautiful almonds. And I'm just going to drop them in. Coat them a little bit in that oil. So, here I have pimenton picante, spicy paprika, and pimenton dulce. Sweet. I would use 100% picante, but that is too hot for Yoli. So, I'm going to go half and half. Yeah. So, I'm just going to go al ojo. Oh, lo, lo. Vale. So the key is also to cook that pimenton a little bit. I think that's good. Pop them in here. They will need a little bit of salt. Mix your salt in. Guys, 
we just cooked five tapas and like that. All right, let's take this outside out to the terrace and have a little tapas feast. I want to show you these dishes and how it's all come together. Okay, Yoli, I'm going to try them. I'm going to try them on your behalf if you don't mind today. You start with the gila, lovely gila. You want to get in there and have a look? Yeah. That's my Hilda move. Wow, I just added a bit of garlic in it. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. So good. That's the one you're gonna have at the beginning of your party. People are gonna have it maybe with some sparkling wine, even with a beer, and it's just gonna brighten up there. They're, 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 they're gonna flare at the nostrils. That's mm. what's gonna happen. All right, quick swig. Let's try these nuts. These nuts. Mm. Oh. Still warm to the touch. Mm. Perfect amount of salt. We've got a little bit of that sweet paprika, a little bit of hot paprika the saltiness and there's that smoky flavor is beautiful. That's why you've got to like toast it a little bit with the paprika in here. Let's try the patatas alioli. oli. <laughs> what a Tapas piece. bar classic. Mm. Oh yeah. Creamy, garlicky mm. with that parsley in there. And this is such a great one. You, people would just devour this and it's cheap as well. It's potatoes, it's, you know, alioli oli, parsley. You can see all those salt flakes in there. Mm, kind of beautiful saltiness. Mm. That one had a bit of heat in it. Oh, mm. how about that? Mm, they're so good. Oh my god, I'm addicted to these. Mm. Yoli's not such a fan, but I could just I go like forever. Them. Yeah. All right, our chorizo. Look at the colors in here, Yoli. They're beautiful. Mm. The bay leaf. Mm. Oh my god. It's really delicious. You've got the smokiness again of the paprika, and then a little bit of sweetness from that beautiful cider. Look at all that juice. That's what you're gonna want to soak up with your bread. You have a favorite? I have no favorite. They are all my children. <laughs> all right, Spain Reveal, reporting for Judy, cooking edition. I hope you make this. Send me your pictures. Tag me on Instagram. Salud. I'm gonna stick with the cider. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Ciao.